In order to better identify and respond to the alerts that matter, RevealX provides a related detection feature that automatically identifies relationships between anomalies, which helps paint a picture of what may have happened during an incident. So we're gonna start at a very logical place, the detection with the highest risk score. So we see a DC sync attack detected here. This attack exploits the legitimate capability for two domain controllers to sync their credential stores with each other. In this case, we have an IT admin workstation attempting to perform a DC sync with our domain controller, which was flagged as anomalous activity. Let's investigate this detection. Since a DC sync attack usually occurs in the latter stages of the attack lifecycle, after a foothold is established and privileged credentials needed to sync with a domain controller are obtained, we can leverage related detections to get a better understanding of how an attacker may have got to this point. If we look to the left of the timeline, before the current detection happened, we see some evidence of lateral movement using WMI. If we shift the focus to that detection, we see that a physician workstation has used WMI to open a connection to the IT admin workstation, something that our anomaly detection tells us has never happened before between these two hosts. Continuing to the left, we see more evidence of lateral movement using PowerShell. This time, there were 22 WS man requests sent from physician 03 to physician 01. And going to the left again, we see even more evidence of lateral movement using PSExec, which is commonly used by sysadmins to do their jobs, but because the connection is coming from a web server in this case to a physician workstation, uh, it makes sense to keep following this trail. So let's go one step back and look at this Drupal vulnerability exploit. Now here we've arrived at a detection that identifies a remote code execution attempt against our web server running Drupal. We also see that the source of the RCE attempt, this 194 IP address, is coming from St. Petersburg and it is on an IP address uh, threat intel list. So here's where the story really starts to come together. So one minute before the current detection, we see a web directory scan detected. So this detection by itself would literally be noise because it's a public facing web server, it's probably being scanned all the time. But when you start to look these at these events in a chain or in, a, in succession, they start to tell the story. So let's say an attacker scanned the public facing web server, he maybe found an exposed port or service, found an associated exploit vulnerability associated with it, tried the RCE attempt, and then we see 15 minutes later evidence of internal recon and lateral movement that are being launched from the web server against the internal environment. And the roles in this storyline are called out as participants under each detection. In the first two, the web server was the victim, but after that, his role flips, and now he's the offender as the attack progresses. So this is just one example of how RevealX can help your SOC to focus on the alerts that matter and provide the investigative efficiency that will help reduce the gap between initial detection and remediation and recovery.